Then we have reversing entries. This is the last step. So this is a journal entry made at the beginning of the next accounting period and exactly the opposite of the related adjusting entry. Why is it exactly the opposite? Because if you prepared an entry, for example, the utilities expense uh, and the credit utilities payable, you're going to reverse it. So, for example, here, mamani siya ang, ang nag-qualify for reversing katong sa uh, FG Electronics. So, i-reverse rin yung balihon rin mo. Diba, ang adjusting entry niya ka utilities expense, credit utilities payable. So, if you're going to prepare the reversing entries, igura pa mo siya balihon. But are all uh, accounts, or uh, not all accounts, all adjustments going to be reversed? So, dili. So, you're only going to reverse the following items. Mga accruals, tanan, both income, accrued income and accrued expenses. And then, we have the deferrals, only the prepayments and pre-collections. Na ang condition for prepayments, only those which are initially recorded using expense method. For pre-collections or the unearned income, only those which are initially recorded using the income method. And then, another question would be, is it really required to prepare uh, reversing entries, ma'am? The answer is only optional it's not required so if the company is not um, preparing the reversing entry so that's okay it depends on the company policy and when are we going to prepare the reversing entry ma'am that's at the beginning of the next accounting period so since we're ending the year on december 31 so your reversing entry will be prepared on january 1 of 2020 so, at the beginning of the next accounting period. And uh, uh, we already had have answered this one last time. Okay. So, we have problems here. Okay. So, I think we already have this exercise last time, right? Uh, we have identified which transactions would uh, qualify if you can still recall uh, which of the following adjusting entries may be reversed okay so let let us have a recap of your answers last time can we uh, uh not can we can can the are these entries reversible pwede ba siyang ma-reverse if the company policy would be uh, requiring uh, reversing entries as the start at the start of the next accounting period for the first one for letter a um, is this a reversible nga entry yes or no can you reverse this entry anyone yes ma'am okay so that's correct. How about B? Can you reverse this one? Prepaid insurance, insurance expense. Yes, okay. So this can be reversed. This is a prepayment, and you would know if my reverse ya. Ang clue is you have to check kung unsa iya hang credit sa iya hang adjusting entries because kung credit na niya and it's prepayment. Mauna siya ay hang initial entry. Okay, so since gi credit yung insurance expense adjustment, so ang initial entry niya is debit to insurance expense. So this is also uh, a reversible, pwede mo reverse ng entry. Next, this is also a prepayment. Can this be reversed? Ma reverse pa niya ang letter C. No. 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 Okay, that's right. Because ang credit niya here is prepaid interest, meaning the initial entry was debit to prepaid interest and credit cash. And remember, the qualification is kinahanglan if this is a prepayment, the initial entry should have recorded the transaction using expense method. How about letter D? Is this reversible? Pwede ba siya ma reverse?
Can you reverse letter D? Yes or no? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so yes, ma okay, that's right because this is an accrual. So, all types of accruals will be reversed. How about letter E? Can you reverse letter E? No. Okay, no sure. because uh, depreciation is not part of the list of transactions that are to be reversed. How about letter F? Can you reverse this one? No, ma'am. Okay, no. Because again, this is not part of the list of items or transactions that may be reversed. So remember, we have accruals and deferrals only. And for deferrals, the qualification is that the prepayment should have been recorded using expense method. And if it's a pre-collection, pre dapat ang initial entry kay uh, income method. How about letter G? Can you reverse this one? Sure. No, yes. ma'am. Okay. No, so, sure. you have to check kung unsa ka ihang initial entry. If this is your adjusting entry, remember, mga credit balance raba ni sila. Ba? Puro man siya credit balance. So, meaning, kung nag-debit siya unearned rent income, karon sa adjusting entry meaning previously ang ihang credit kay unearned rent income so meaning pag collect niya sa money nag debit o cash and nag credit unearned rent income so mo qualify ba siya sa condition wherein the initial entry should be um, the transaction should have been recorded using uh, income method so the answer is no because this is liability so, liability method ang gigamit. So, this does not qualify uh, for reversing. How about letter H? Can this qualify? Pwede ba siyang i-reverse? Yes, okay, that's right. So, yes, ma'am. Can you siya? Pwede. Kaya nga, no, ang iyang initial entry, nag-debit siya o cash and nag-credit siya grant income. How would you know, ma'am, na nag-credit siya grant income? Add to. Kaya pag about sa adjusting entries, gibali man siya. Diba? Ingon, anak man siya pag mag-adjust So, we need to uh, make the adjustment. is either we uh, most of the time, ano man na siyang i-recognize ang wala ma-recognize or kuhaan na to itong existing expense or existing uh, asset. So, since nag-debit o grant income, meaning previously, it debited cash and credited rent income, which qualifies for the condition para ma-reverse. How about letter I? Can you reverse this one? Yes, sir. Yes, because this is an accrual. So, all types of accrual. You will know accrual siya kay na siya receivable, like interest receivable, rent receivable, rent payable, interest payable, mga na. How about letter J? Is this a reversible? Yes, ma'am. Okay, yes. Although wala siya receivable nga term, but this is accrued rent income it's the same with accrued rent receivable okay how about letter k is this reversible pwede ba siyang ma-reverse sure okay. yes ma'am so you check the credit side the credit side is supplies expense so meaning ang initial entry niya is debit to supplies expense and credit cash okay any questions? If you like this video, don't forget to click like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to be updated with the latest video lessons. Thank you for watching!